you can see that the two person smoke ink rotation in towards mid lane is going to be broken by Victoria as well. So Inflame has time to react to this. He backs out, still has five wand charges if he needs to use them. They get the stun for the moment, but the follow up sleep. And now the Chronosphere catches on to two. Soxka is going to end up falling here as well, I believe. Chronosphere is still activated, but they're running through it. Victoria looking for misery. They find the kill. This might end up being a third one as well as four heroes suddenly mid for CDC Youth. And DC 0 and 6 start. Oh, oh god. It doesn't change if he's dead though. Yeah, that's gonna be the Chronosphere. The Earth Splitter comes through. Finger of Death. Everything dropped on top of his head. Weeha is here as well, trying to turn this back around. XD already down to about a 30 HP. Victoria's gonna fall as well. Demon suddenly doomed, and I think that this is going to end up being a Triple. three for one exchange. So nicely played there. Uh, five man smoke is going to be. Uh, coming out from the side of CDC Youth, and it looks like they're going to run right into Moo. A quick X is going to come out, as well as the Earth Spike, and what looks to be a Finger of Death, possibly. He does go down, Inflame taking some damage from Ame. But as you can see, it looks like, at least for now, with the Chronosphere drop, they might even be able to find another. Rezo is going to be there. Misery off on the other side, getting zoned out by Ame and Inflame. I think that they are going to be able to finish him off. That's going to be another kill, so two down. Misery also getting his TP interrupted, and he's going to fall. So CDC Youth taking down three with the smoke gank. Well, he just might. Can he kill him? I don't know. I don't think he can kill him without a waveform. Well, yeah, there's... Now he can kill him. Oh, God. All right, that's going to be rough. Oh, man. That that really hurts. When you're tied, yeah, Hunter... Catch someone. Victoria, he breaks it, but they don't have eyes on him yet. They are going to run right into Demons. He does end up being able to get the Doom off, so a pretty nice start. The Ravage comes out as well. Inflame had already popped his BKB, though, and is going to almost be able to kill off Misery. Not dead as of yet. Soxka is going to get jumped on by the Morphling. Ame trying to get out of here and make sure he doesn't end up going down himself. Victoria is going to fall, so that's one for one trade already. Looking for a bit more. That is Doom dropping low, but not dead. Chasing him up on the high ground. Victoria jumped on by Weeha, and that should be a kill. So, so far, three dead for CDC. Youth, but the two big bad boys are still up and alive. In flame and Ame not taken down, whereas the life stealer got killed for the side of DC. Though maybe they can't. There's a mosquito here. Oh, uh -oh. jump in, ravage on top of two. In flame and Ame in some trouble. The Chrono is going to be able to get there for the counter initiation. In flame so low and is not as of yet dead. They do end up throwing out a big old combo there from Ame. In flame still barely alive. He is going to fall after that Ag Scepter upgrade comes in from the Marana. Still chasing down Ame. Strengthened over the Morph. Demons is not dead as of yet. A pretty nice disengage there from XZ. But it looks like with that, CDC Youth maybe are going to be ready to reset. They need to get back in here and contest this Roshan. If they can get a good stomp off, DC are going to be in a lot of trouble, and they're trying to keep them spread out for the moment. XE up on the high ground. Roshan's still not dead as of yet. Weeha's going to be drained of all of his mana, and they're still what looking for a little bit for Almost gone, but not as of yet. Oh my god, he's so low. Weeha's up on the high ground. Blink's down below. He does not want to get caught. They're still in the midst of it. Ame jumps in. Can he steal it? Aegis on the ground. He's going to be able to take it. Kills off the Tide Hunter, and now looking for another one. Godlike streak for Ame. Oh man, he really played that perfectly. And you see over here on the bottom side, they're going to be able to catch Misery. It does look like, at least for now, Doom is going to fall. And over and over again, CDEC Youth just dominating. This is a real struggle right now. They're going to try and move up and make something happen. I guess a response to the pressure along the tier two, but you can see, oh no, Doom gonna be caught out again. The rest of this side of DC is there, so they're not actually going for it all the way as of yet. That is gonna be a dead lion. So they take him out of the fight right at the start. Ame popped his BKB. The Chronosphere on the back lines actually only ends up hitting onto Rezo, and it not is going to not be enough. Victoria not gonna be able to finish off Rezo either, so CDC Youth overextending. Ame a little bit too far forward, and Weeha. meanwhile, maybe gonna be able to kill off Weeha. Needs a couple more hits, but it's not gonna be there. There. Inflame and Ame are still very oh difficult to deal with. My god, that damage, but Ame still alive is finally brought down. That's only the Aegis. These two cores are monsters right now, and Mu is just dead. No getting around it. They went two on five, and they won. <laughs> oh my god, Weeha. Almost getting uh, jumped upon. He replicated over for that, didn't he? Yeah. Like, uh, Ame? Okay. 
He doesn't care. He doesn't give a damn. He's going to just run at Satsuka as well and tosses out another one. Is maybe going to be able to kill him off, possibly? Turning around onto Misery, trying to trade the hits. They get the Guardian Greaves, keeping him alive for the moment. Resolution's there as well. Ame just does not care. He kills off a double there for him. Inflame is doomed, but that's going to be another catch onto Misery. The buyback from Marana. Oh, they need to be a little bit careful as we do have at least the arrow going out, not quite going to be able to catch. They're trying to kill that replicant, but uh, XZ ends up spotting that one of his creeps was stolen by the arrow. Uh, and this is a dangerous farming position to be in. Demons walks up on the high ground. Meanwhile, Ame just doing a lot of damage there to Weeha. They haven't ever actually ended up going for the full kill as of yet. They dropped the Chronosphere, keeping the team separated for the moment. And a zoning chrono actually working well for them. Resolution low, but not dead as of yet. Jumps inside of Misery. Might be able to get out. Resolution jumps out and turns with the armlet toggling. But Ame is just too big. Godlike street for him. On the low ground, XZ hits the stun. And Weeha is going to be able to kill him off. So a 3 for 3 exchange already. Looks like Ame might be trying to go for a little bit more of the replicate. The jump, he finds the kill. Enormous. And we're looking at this buyback status. They end up using one, a second one now as well. Can they hold with just those two? Like, are they comfortable with this? Oh my god, Soxka. Not what you want to have happen. Alright, Glimmer Cape keeping him alive for the moment. Inflame doomed. Ame still here, standing tall, trying to kill him off. Can they find that kill? Oh my god! He just does so much damage! And Resolution trying to run away desperately, but they have another waveform. Can they find him? Oh, pretty good rage there, keeping him alive. Look at the damage, Morphling 400 a hit, and like, he hits pretty quick too, I don't know if he noticed. Um, oh god, Moo, they get the Doom onto Ame, alright, so this is maybe the way to make it work, but the follow-up Chrono, oh, Moo's gonna go down here, they get the Stomp as well, and that's gonna allow them to sort of outlast this Doom that comes out, and Resolution taking a lot of damage here as well, Misery does have that Winter's Curse if he wants to use it, but it doesn't matter, he's still gonna end up getting dropped, even after that Winter's Curse, the jump through kill, Morphling with a double, Barracks falling, and... You know what, I gotta think that you were right. This could potentially be it. Good game, well played, ends up getting called. As we see a finger of death and CDEC Youth coming out strong in game number one. They played absolutely amazing all game. Like, I, I guess some of that's the kill as is gonna get rolled in on and taking a little bit of damage. Victoria is still there, gonna try and turn this one back around, not able to do it. And it looks like they might be able to possibly find that kill, so that's one going their direction. Yeah, we all like, was kicking, kissing her. Oh, ooh. We a little bit more. A couple quick right clicks. They find the kill. So they end up being able to turn it back around. Oh, the kick. And, oh, maybe alive. There's the shuriken toss. And one last one from Skyrath. A quick and easy kill. He's just going to end up going down there in the mid lane. They dropped Ward simultaneously. It does look like Skyrath is going to come and try and see if he can catch Misery himself. That is going to be an arcane bolt going out. But no great way to find the kill. And now Weeha's here as well. They get the stun with the kick. And maybe going to be able to find something more. And Flame jumps in a pretty big call. Dunks one. Maybe going to be able to dunk two. Oh no, he's not quite below the threshold. As of yet, XE trying to bring him low. A really nice stun. And the silence coming out. Maybe going to be able to turn that one. Moo does. But there's going to be the Naga Siren ultimate. In Flame trying to run away from resolution. I think that they're going to be able to get out. They only got the kill on the Witch Doctor. That was a really nice series of events there for DC. A very frustrating hero to play against. The Radiant oh. Solution's not quite there. A pretty big call as well as the vacuum wall. Is it going to be enough damage? So much coming out. And two dead already. Three as well. Holy hell, that was such a great combo. Yeah, this is feeling uh, like a, a pretty good moment for them. XC not going to end up being able to come in and disjoin all of that. Vacuum wall is available, but he's silenced. And meanwhile, a pretty big call for Inflame. Oh, it's just it's going to be enough damage. Can they bring him down? Inflame is low, but not dead as of yet. And they do finally get him there. Socks are low as well. The Naga Siren Illusions are on top of him. Resolution trying to chase down Ame and is going to end up being able to find him. So another kill. Three for two exchange. Uh-oh. Go for it. I'm reconnecting. Well, I see a dead hero, but it's going to be, it's definitely going to be, Resolution didn't want to come out. Nice misery play. Song, though. Why am I solo casting this? Demons oh, is dead. Oh, trying to get out of there. He's outie. And now the chase continues. Darkseer with Earth Spirit dead. 
Uh, CDC Youth take two, Bull, and it looks like right now CDC Youth do want to try and take a fight. They're going to run for the second into Moo. He does have the Life Sealer inside of him. Jumps in, finds the call. The crush is there as well from Moo as he's going to end up just going down. Demons is going to fall possibly from Resolution. He does get in and on top of him. In Flame trying to run down that Earth Spirit, and Sox is in the middle of the as well. Name is starting to drop below a huge oh, vacuum wall in Flame, making a follow up as well. Double kill for him. Resolution still alive. The Witch Doctor ultimate going, but I'm not sure if it's going to quite be enough. They bop back on the Naga Star and still chasing Resolution, trying to get out of their Pops Rage and is going to run. But as you can talk about earlier, the, the kiting is happening and I think that we have oh, to be able them. to break with the sleep. Well played there. Can they bring down this Death Prophet though? Back up to full HP, has the Yules, but there's the Diffusal Blade and that should be a quick and easy one as DC Weeha finally falls four dead into the middle of this dark seer um, um, i'm not sure if that was completely the play they popped the bkb on in flame able to take him down i guess he thought he could make something happen there i'm just as confused as you are it's fine oh, though God. Oh, they get the call, but he actually is able to get off the Maledic first. Now Weeha in the midst of all of them. Ame taking a lot of damage from this one. Illusions are able to soak up some of it. There's going to be the crush onto him. The Lotus Orb, he's dropping very low. He needs to escape. The wall is already dropped, and somehow Ame is still surviving through all of this. Fluttered he's actually and just going to walk away. Oh my goodness. Meanwhile, everybody well. disconnects to be continuing. Meanwhile, in flame, able to catch on to Weeha and Mu. The dunk comes through. Not gonna be able to find anything more. The XD as well, because why not? Oh, and they break the TP and we are. Oh no, and now also in a little bit more trouble. He ends up getting dunked for dead. It looked so good for a moment. In flame on the safe lane axe has just been making stuff happen all game, and this is gonna be a really big call on the wall as well. Everything dropped down on top of their head, and that was already the buyback and now dieback of the death prophet. The damage is going to continue to come. Resolution in a whole heck of a lot of trouble. And they aren't going to be able to get the secondary call into Rezo, but they do kill off the Witch Doctor. Now that he's gone, it's just open season on DC's heroes. And you see XZ jump forward, find the kill onto Misery. Skyrath Mage was the one that got the last hit. Nothing left. I'm going to try and mess around a little bit for the second onto Victoria. The TP boots on top of him. Inflame hasn't brought him down as of yet. Resolution turns onto the axe, starting to do a decent chunk of damage. And the creep wave, oh, we have very low, not dead as of yet. Ame, if they can find a kill here, maybe, just maybe, DC can bring it back. But they're all so low. And double kill from Inflame. Good game, well played. Ends up getting called as DC get 2 0'd and knocked down to the lower bracket here in the Nanyang Championship. They outdrafted them uh, quite a bit and then completely outplayed them. And then this game, yeah, it was just even neck and neck for most of the game, and then all of a sudden...